Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, we are on to the love reading for October 23. I keep saying that October 23 I don't know why that is October 23rd um, so obviously today is significant for something because it's really uh, emphasizing the three so three could be very important for you mind body spirit the Holy Trinity uh, you could have met this person on the third this person that could have three children this per person's birthday could be on the third first time you hung out with them was on the third uh, any of those things Right then, it was like, oh, all of a sudden, my heart is starting to ache. Okay, you guys, so for somebody, three, it could be a third-party relationship. Okay, so uh, the number three is relevant so somehow, some way. Um, you could be waiting on this person, all right? Getting counseling over this person. Spirit, please show me your love life. Six of Wands, Eight of Swords in reverse, okay? Coming out of... The darkness, okay, that's what your challenge is. You guys are overcoming obstacles. You guys are being recognized, okay? This is awesome. Okay, Ooh, yeah, I've taken back control of your life. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, communication, coming in fast and hot. Right. Yeah, somebody here is coming back from the past. Two eights, news that can change the relationship. Oh, the lovers. Love life. Spirit, please show me your love life. All right. One more card. All right. All right. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Secrets. Secrets. Lots of major arcanas in this reading, you guys. You got the High Priestess, you got the Emperor, which is all about High Priestess is you using your intuition. She also keeps her secret. She doesn't share with everybody all the things that she knows. She's very psychic. The Emperor is uh, someone who can be a masculine. It does not have to be, but because the fact that I'm doing a masculine feminine reading, I'm going to say here that this is two people, one who is like wants control and another, like, it's almost like um, one who, and they're both really high up in their community. They're both seen for something completely different. And then we have the lover's card here as well as the karma card, okay? Karma is the judgment card. So it's something here about wanting a reconciliation. Uh, someone here wants to come back, you know? Someone here is wanting to come back from the past, especially when I see the two eights like I do. Um, you know, as... I feel like somebody here has felt like they have not been recognized and maybe even if it's just being recognized by the universe it's like oh my gosh universe like you know I'm doing all the hard work I'm putting it all in like uh, you know when are you gonna recognize me well I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here your luck is about to change I feel like destiny whatever is destined for you is about to move forward um, I want to see what this nine of pentacles is all about. Yeah, she's going from being, oh my God. So yeah, your hopes, wishes, and dreams are coming true. I feel like the, the lovers being here tells me that there is a choice that needs to be made. And I feel like when I was talking about the three, uh, one, two, three. So you're, if somebody here might be needing to make a choice between two women, okay? One who is much more spiritual and the other one who is more of the, third dimension, you know, um, here, you know, here, but with the angel, it's a deeper, it's a very deep, intense, if you didn't hear that sound out there, uh, it was a very deep, intense relationship between you and this other partner. Um, I do want to say that this person has definitely made a decision. Let me see. Oh yeah. Now we have the Empress to the Emperor. 
this person, this emperor is definitely wanting to find his match. So this could be an Aries and a Libra, sun, moon, or rising, does not matter. Uh, sometimes this can be seen as a Taurus, and this can also be seen as an Aries, Libra, um, Taurus, uh, because it's ruled by Venus. And this is also Aries, um, Aries, Taurus is how I usually see it. Uh, the fact that I do have Taurus here on the table too. So I feel like somebody from the past is definitely wanting to reconcile with you. And I do think that this person is coming back in. I want to say that um, this person went off and, and went to work. Uh, this person could have moved away and went and worked in another town, uh, country, you know, city, state, whatever. I feel like this person is on their way back in. Let's see, what's the lovers? Yeah, this person has been on their way back in for a really long time. This person has been strategizing on how they're going to make their return to you. Uh, slowly but surely, I feel like this person has been definitely, this person sees you as their wish fulfillment, okay? Usually the Seven of Swords is the liar, cheater, thief. And maybe in the past, that's what, that's what this person was, especially when it's showing up on the lover's card. Maybe you caught this person with someone else. And the fact that she's naked here, maybe they were even intimate with one another. Um, because I am kind of seeing this as this person here. And I, this person sees you as the star, okay? So maybe this person, like I said, 3D, the distorted feminine who gets naked to get her point across. Whereas this masculine over here, you know, he doesn't give a shit about that anymore. He doesn't want that sexual relationship anymore. What he's wanting is something that is so much bigger than what he's used to. See how that's now in the shadows? And it's like, you know, there was, I feel like there was an imbalance in this relationship. So if it was just a sexual fixture in this person's uh, sphere, um, this person could definitely be looking at someone who is foreign to them, okay? And I see that as, you know, her, you know. And then I'm seeing this as someone who is foreign, all right? But he is looking back over the past, and I think that this person uh, left you in the past. Or you guys saw each other in the past. I want to know what this is all about. Oh my God. So the high priestess, you know what her secrets are she's hiding? Your intuition already knows that you've got the opportunity of a brand new beginning in communication, which is the swords, and in creativity, a sexual relationship as well, a very passionate one at that. And it's because you have continued to persevere and continued. So I will tell you the one plus nine um, of wands here equals the 10. The 10 is putting down the burden. So I think that in the past, maybe if you've been working a lot, you've been working on, you know, your creativity, your abundance. And I, I do feel like um, you know, that needs to be said. Yeah. Could definitely be dealing with the Libra here. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Yep, here he comes. So the Wheel of Fortune here is all about the destiny that is moving forward. It has to do with this King of Cups. And the King of Cups here is somebody who needs to master their emotions, okay? A lot of the times the King of Cups has emotions and has feelings for someone but all he does is keep them to himself. He And he is defensive. He juggles and sometimes he even juggles multiple different people because he's afraid of telling the person that he loves that he loves them. Okay. And so then what he does is he's constantly defensive and is constantly beating them off with a stick. You see, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. When really in all actuality, there's someone here that they really do want. So destiny is turning in this person's favor. And I do feel like the eight of cups. Yeah. This person has not been able to let you go. Uh, the eight of cups has the four of pentacles, the two of swords and the four of swords. So the eight of cups is where somebody is coming back. And the reason being is because they haven't been able to let you go. You know, they've really thought about this and two fours says that it's been really stagnant in this relationship 
but the eight says that they're walking back in and that it's something that they've really emotionally invested their time in and they've really thought this thing through. But I will tell you that they are a little bit insecure about, about coming forward uh, and that's why they're kind of hiding behind uh, the shadows right now, so to speak. So I want to see what this is all about. Okay, the emperor is the world, the nine of swords and the ten of swords. So this emperor, he's been hurt. Okay, the emperor is, you know, who everybody goes to for that last piece of advice. But that emperor also wears his armor, okay? And with his armor on, he is looking for his empress, okay? He's not willing to put up with this, like, other bullshit that's going on. Like, he's grown, he's matured. He's not the king like he is up here, the king of cups. He is the emperor, okay? The emperor has the final say-so. And the emperor, he was, he's gone through a lot of worry and doubt and pain. And I feel like he's wanting to end this cycle and start anew. And I think that it's been kind of scary for this emperor. So whether this emperor... Um, I want to say if you want to look at age group, this person could definitely be older than you are. Um, you know, and the emperor can be male or female. The fact of the matter is, is it's whoever is taking on. The emperor usually takes charge. He holds onto that staff like I am ready to take charge. But the emperor has been wounded. So I feel like the emperor, um, this person could have gotten hurt. I want to say that this person maybe uh, hurt their back. Um, and they've been on bed rest, and maybe that's why you haven't heard from this person, um, or maybe had some form of back surgery. Uh, also, I can see acupuncture here, so maybe this emperor is needing acupuncture. Um, and that's just a little side note that I picked up on, okay? Yeah, there was news that came in about a third party, okay? And I think it left somebody feeling left out in the cold and they chose to go in a different direction, okay? Because there was someone here and this person, the information came in fast and heavy, uh, fast and hot quickly. Um, what is the Eight of Swords here for, Spirit? Why is the Eight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Ten of, oh wow. So the Eight of Swords in the upright is usually where you're stuck, you're self in prison, you're stuck up all in your head. And that being your challenge, it's asking you to really look at the long term and make that, be willing to make that uh, commitment. With the dog there, I feel like it's going towards somebody who is loyal to you. And somebody who's been loyal to you and your family, somebody that you can see as long term. And I feel like this person is finally coming out of that and ready to make a decision. Death to you being in the Eight of Swords position. For some of you, I feel like this person has been in prison and this person is finally coming home. Um, so they've done their time and they are getting the recognition that they deserve. And there is a hierarchy here who is um, opening the bars, so to speak, and opening up. Um, for others of you, if this person is not in prison, they've been in a self-imprisonment in their own mind. And I think that it's only a matter of time, especially when we do have the eights, that this comes out and it's a material manifestation. And I feel like with the eight, this is the, um, you know, the eight of wands is all about like Cupid's arrows coming at you fast and swift. So I feel like this person is going to send you a text message, an email, a phone call, some type of interaction, communication that's going to leave you feeling really, really happy uh, in the end. But Again, it's the challenge, so it's it's going to take a moment for this to happen. Um, why is the Six of Wands here? Six of Wands says, you know, I just feel victorious no matter what. You know, I've <laughs> Six of Wands is where people, it's that public recognition, people who see you and who celebrate you. You know, I, people, I feel like some people are really seeing you as a star. They're seeing that you're healing. And I think that you've waited a very, very long time for this. And you've had to go through some real painful situations and overcome some things, um, you know, whether that be boredom, apathy, any one of those things, depression, because I've seen that here as well. Um, and the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups is, you know, your cup runneth over. You, your cup is consistent in being refillable and you know this. And I feel like you're doing really good at filling your own cup. You're waiting on your happily ever after here. And I feel like in your hopes and fears is the Five of Swords. You know, I think in the hopes and fears, I think that it's coming out of mental conflict 
and it's having this conversation with this person. There's someone here who has been very nurturing, very loving, but I feel like there's someone here who has been spying on this person. Uh, and again, there's that three, the theme of three, like I was saying earlier. So maybe in the past you were eclipsed out of this person's life and it's time to come back in and, and form closure. Uh, in the very outcome, you guys, I feel like this person is definitely wanting to uh, offer you a commitment. I see this person sees you as fertile. For others of you, I could definitely see that you end up getting pregnant. So congratulations. Um, you guys end up having a family with one another. Um, for others of you, it's not doing things in a very traditional way is what I'm seeing, you know, because the, the Hierophant, he's all about traditions. And I feel like, you know, it's 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 doing things completely opposite as than tradition, than what is expected of you, okay? So maybe for some of you, this person wants to get back together, but they have never had... Uh, they've never had the desire to get married. And so maybe this person wants to just live happily ever after without that contract. And so you have to decide on whether or not that is okay for you. But I am seeing something in here about not, you know, rewriting your traditions and things like that. Uh, whatever you guys are wanting, you know, keep your thoughts positive because your hopes, wishes, and dreams are about ready to come true. I'm seeing the stars here and I'm seeing the star here. So for some of you, this person could definitely be in the spotlight. They could, you know, be on national television, out in the public eye, uh, have their own YouTube channel, um, have their own classes, things like that. And this person is extremely regarded, um, you know, by the, the public with a high, higher expectation. I feel like this person being that the fact that the emperor is here, this is somebody who a lot of people look up to in your community. Please show me their love life spirit for this reading. Any advice for this? Okay. Chemistry, you know, uh, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. You tend to keep getting that card. All right. Ooh, separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And we just got that last reading I did right before this. So you can go back and check that out. Aha, release your ex and free yourself. You know, for some of you, you know, I feel like with the free yourself, the separation and the release your ex, you are needing to completely clear your energy of all of your exes because there is somebody here that you have a magnetic attraction towards. And while you still have this ex in your sphere, um, and I feel like, you know, maybe that's what this seven of swords energy is all about. Maybe the X keeps popping in at the most inconvenient times. Maybe your money and finances are connected. Maybe it's child support or alimony or any one of those things that are here. But I do feel like you're getting ready to end that. I think that the X continues to try to come in because they know they can feel you pulling away. Um, they can feel the fact that you are starting to free yourself. You're about ready to jump the coop. And when they energetically start feeling you pulling away, they automatically try and come in and um, fuck shit up for you. You know, I can honestly say, you know, I've been divorced now for 16 years and my ex-husband, I hadn't heard from him. My daughter was right about ready to turn 18 and boom, right, like literally, literally days before she turned 18 years old, he came after me for child support. And it was like, I have literally not heard or seen from this guy in years. I mean, I've been divorced for 16 years. And now that I am finally like at that breaking point of him and I, it was like he, you know, th this happened. He wanted to come back in and attach himself to me thinking that he could just fuck up my life. You know, so there it put me now, you know, I was talking to somebody out back then, somebody that I really cared for and it got in the way of all of that. And literally everything went to shit as soon as he, and you know, it wasn't anything that, you know, he knew he was doing, but at the same time, just that energy there, the universe looks at it as a third party relationship. And until you can break that karma, uh, you know, and for me, it's like, 
uh, once this bond has been broken, and the fact of the matter is, too, it was sneaky because he never even had the kids that he's asking for child support on, um, you know, and that's legal and binding paperwork. And so, you know, I put it out to the universe. Here's my hopes, wishes, and dreams that he'll get caught, you know, and I do feel like with Mercury and retrograde, liars, cheaters, and thieves always get caught. So it's one way or another, and whether or not it's the courts that will catch you doing it, which the court is right here, justice will be served either way, you know. So if this is a situation that you guys are going through, and maybe it's not exact like what I'm going through, you know, but it goes to show that I'm on the same journey as you guys are. And, you know, it's everything in the end and always end up working out. It's just maybe that's the reason why I'm not in a union right now is because once he's gone, I literally have no exes knocking on my door. I have no exes, um, you know, texting me during a Mercury in retrograde. Like, I don't even talk to my ex-husband, you know. He's just the father of my kids and he's a pain in my side. Um, you know, other than that, he doesn't, he really has no blip on my radar, you know, it's just, it's a way of controlling. And so that's what this is talking about. And maybe this person has just never gotten over you. Um, so they're going to keep showing up because they feel that you're pulling away and that you have interest, whether or not you know who your next love interest is, or if you're just wanting to pull away because you're, or, you know, you're just moving the fuck on, um, you know, uh, keep doing what you're doing, release yourself, you know, keep putting that out there, keep taking the steps that you're guided to take to get yourself out of the, this situation because this says a lot. And when you can do that and you can release the past, because this is all about at the very end, releasing this past karmic contract that had to do with past life issues same thing I'm dealing with, past life issues. And again, it has to do with the mother, okay, see? And exactly my situation. So I can totally see the correlation in this because, you know, you don't want to have that coming in. You don't want that argument to being in this new relationship with somebody that you are trying to, you know, uh, you know, they're trying to court you and you've got the ex coming in to the picture. I'm going to be honest with you. That's not sexy. I don't want to have to wonder who the fuck is texting the person that is sitting next to me. Is that your ex? And then all of a sudden, you know, I remember, you know, being with uh, multiple people, you know, in my distorted feminine energy where, you know, these guys, they're, they're getting text messages from their exes or their mistresses. Cause I've been cheated on more times than plenty. Um, and, uh, you know, asking them like, who the fuck's on your phone? Like, who are you texting? Because now all of a sudden you've gotten weird, you know, they get a text message. So you can automatically tell when they're not supposed to be getting these messages because they start treating you funny. And then you ask them about it and they get mean and they get weird about it. And then you get blamed because, you know, you asked him about it. And it's just one big, big fucking vicious cycle. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know where you stand in all of this. Um, if it is ending a karmic contract with an ex-lover, which is what this whole thing is all about, and becoming single so that you can heal from all this sabotage, from, you know, bullshit. And, it, this, and just remember, this stuff is beneath you. You've done your work. You have overcome the only thing is, is just wait, because Saturn has just now gone direct. Saturn is the ruler of karma, and Saturn is sitting in Car uh, in um, in Capricorn. And I'm going to be honest with you. However the karma comes back, it's going to come back tenfold, because with the sun in Scorpio and now, and with the Mercury in retrograde also in Scorpio, this is uncovering secrets and lies. So I do want to say that whatever is going on here, just know that if you are on the up and up, um, it's going to be revealed and it's going to help you so that you can clear your energy so that you can move forward in a happy, healthy, loving bond. But the reason why you're not in a union right now is because you still have things that you need to clean up from exes, whether it's triggers from an ex, um, you know, any one of those things, uh, you know, for me, I do, I've done EMDR tapping and then I do what I do and I have like all these different healing modalities that I do to also clear my energy and, you know, I do uh, ceremony, you know, cutting cord ceremonies and things like that. So it's, you know, whatever you got to do to clear your energy. Also ask your archangels, you know, to come in and help you clear this so that, um, so that. Uh, we can bring something new into the mix. 
All right, so one last message, Spirit. Any last piece of advice for this love reading? Yeah, mending. 52. Let's go and see what this love is. This is saying for love. All right, 52. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary if you're to move forward. Separate or together, or separate or together, you and the other person are still experiencing the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do. Even if you're not aware of it, the energy needs to clear. What must you do to bridge this gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. You have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and an, and, an honest re redress. Listen, okay, you need to mend how you're looking at this ex. So like for me, when my ex-husband did what he did, um, instead of doing like he did when when... He, I had three kids. I was asking for small pennies on child support for three babies and car seats. Uh, but I guess it was too much. Anyway, um, for him, he went and, and totally hid and went to work under the table. For me, what I did was I completely launched this business to where it was like in the forefront of everything. So I did the opposite so that instead of hiding and so that I, I wouldn't have to pay, because either way, I just want to get this done and over with. I don't really give a shit, you know? Um, and I think that that's what we do is we tend to give too much of a shit, okay? So we give them so much energy that they get to take your power even if they don't even know it. For me, I moved across an ocean. So if you want my $92 per month and that makes him feel like I'm doing something that, you know, he got me back, let him have it. And how I look at the situation is, I'm glad I can help. I'm glad I can help. Perspective. So it's like really looking at this situation from a different perspective. And because I am not allowing that to dictate how I maneuver my life, unlike when he did it, um, you know, he's just showed us the wrong way of doing it and I'm showing the right way of doing it. And so in that, it's helping me mend the feelings that I had towards him so that he can no longer hold on to me. So once this last little piece of, you know, karma is done and over with, okay, it's good, done. It's over. There's nothing more. Like, you can't darken my doorstep ever again after this. All my kids are over the age of 18 now, unfortunately, not for all of you, you know, but for me, I don't have to deal with this shit no more, you know? So that's, for me, I get to say, I'm glad I can help until I can't help anymore. So, you know, I only have a few more pennies on the dollar and this guy's out of my life for good and all there is is, is memories. And for me, I don't have a feeling either way anymore. There's no hatred, there's no animosity, there's no anxiety. I'm not pointing fingers. I'm not blaming the other party. Don't don't get me wrong at the very beginning I was absolutely fucking devastated because I thought it was done and over but you know since doing my you know EMDR and doing what I do and having a big understanding of why the universe does what it does it gives us an opportunity to do what's right and what's wrong and they you might think that your your exes are getting away with certain things and oh they moved on and they don't even care um, well, you know, karma comes in different ways and you're not the deliverance of karma. So let karma come in and get these people. And just remember, karma is not always bad. So because you had to go through all of this, um, you know, and go through, you know, whatever, um, whatever you need to process about your exes. And, you know, that's what the Scorpio season is all about. Drudging up whatever skeletons you have in the closet and going into this deep processing about how you feel about certain aspects about your past. Okay. So that you can overcome. And that's what this card in the reverse is you overcoming your childhood wounds so that you don't bring these back into this or into any more relationships relationships because it's the reason why every relationship from this point this point forward has failed you know and the thing is is I haven't remarried in 16 years and it's been bliss for me I've dated a couple of times and didn't find anything in that and you know it, it's it's like I can't say the same for the other side so you know you have to be like 
again, it, it's the karma. I mean, I'm living in Hawaii, living my best life, having to pay $92 a month, but I'm also not living in the hell that, you know, he feels within himself. So, you know, maybe that's the karma is that, you know, until your ex is willing to separate themselves from, or you are willing to separate yourselves from being the victim. I'm not a victim in my circumstances. I've learned so much about myself on this journey that I thank every single one of my exes. And that's where you guys need to be at a place where you can thank your exes for the experiences, because had you not experienced what you didn't like, you wouldn't know what you love. So you guys, um, sorry about that. If this sounds like your story and you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. You guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and allowing me to share my story with you on this journey. Um, you know, I feel like it's so important to... Uh, you know, be vulnerable and show parts of myself as well, just so you guys know that I am human and I have experienced all these things. And with me doing what I do, it has really helped me guide not only myself out of these lessons, but guide each and every one of you. So again, I love each and every one of you and thank you for allowing me to be here to guide you. Take care and we'll chat again tomorrow.